This Maryland mom of five, extraordinary lady, the commitment to her family, how she planned her life, and she loved to run on this hiking trail, and she was in a new romance. Then she disappears. The boyfriend calls the police, says, I don't know where she is. They find her the next day. Reports about how she was found suggest that this was a very violent, horrific, maybe, maybe, sexual assault-related murder. Is that the boyfriend is not the boyfriend. Everybody's saying it's the boyfriend. The boyfriend goes on social media, says, leave us alone. The police just held a press conference. They announced who they believe is the suspect. On your screen now is the man that police believe brutally murdered 37-year-old Rachel Marin. Police successfully ran a DNA analysis on the scene, got a match of a breaking and entering an assault that was committed this March in Los Angeles, okay? Literally, other side of the country. Police believe the suspect is 5'9", weighs about 160 pounds, and is of Hispanic descent. That is the man. That is not the boyfriend. Let's bring in former FBI agent, News Nation's law and justice contributor, Jennifer Coffendaffer. And we're also going to get reaction from Rachel's family through counsel Joseph Murtha. Um, Coffendaffer, um, this is uh, interesting, this development that the police came out want you to know they don't have a name. And what makes them so sure when they say the crime scene, what do you think they did here? Well, I think we got, obviously, the DNA that was turned in, which made a lot of sense because of the time frame. You would expect a profile, if there was DNA, to be developed at about this time frame. What I want to know and what wasn't addressed is whether this is mitochondrial DNA or not, and what kind of DNA was it? Was it from a hair? Was it from semen? Was it just touch DNA? These are all very important questions. But I do think, Chris, one of the biggest clues was the information about a rock that had blood on it. And that made me think, was this a sexual assault gone wrong where she fought and he grabbed a rock and struck her? You had said earlier on uh, that when it's someone who knows you and there's a, a homicide of this nature, a murder of this nature, there usually is not sexual assault involved because it's more of a crime of passion about whatever's going on in the relationship. And that if there were signs of sexual assault, that would lead you uh, in the direction that the police now seem to be going. Do you trust the information uh, from one of the witnesses? There was all this drama online about whether it was right that she was found unclothed and uh, in a position that seems she may have been assaulted and the rock and the blood. Do you trust that information? Well, I trust it from the standpoint, not that he was there because that's been disproven, but rather that his stepdaughter would would seem told him the information. And so it's secondhand information that he, he's repeating. But what's interesting about it is the detail. And it made a lot of sense in terms of what we knew from the investigation. Also, Chris, the minute they started ramping up uh, getting surveillance cameras, buying a $20,000 SUV, all of these patrols, of course, it certainly gave pause that it, this could be a random. Um. One more question, then I want to go to Mr. Murtha about how the family feels about this uh, information. Breaking and entering, very different crime than what we're seeing here, or am I missing something? Well, it's different in a sense, but in that case, it was a young woman, we're told, uh, that was alone. And so it seems to me that he might, this predator, actually look for victims that are easy to victimize, that are alone. And so it seems that in that way, this MO was similar. Mm. Mr. Murtha, uh, how ha thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, what was the family's reaction to the press conference? Well, Chris, thank you for allowing me to appear on behalf of the family. And they are encouraged by the fact that there is information out there that is being publicized nationally in light of the fact that this person has contacts with Los Angeles. They thought it was really important for them to have a voice 
that projects that information nationally because someone somewhere knows this person and they believe that by getting out and asking people just to help and to be available if someone knows that individual to participate in solving this terrible crime. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.